And, and again, you and I met at ABC, and I was there for 10 years and three years at NBC Universal, and even toward my later years working in-house, in some cases, I was the only black female or male publicist um, in, you know, in the room. So and, definitely... And, and not in some, but in all, in my case, right. I was the only black male. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> in pretty much every meeting yeah. situation. And I don't, I'm not discounting, I'm saying black male executives. Correct. They were male interns, assistants, coordinators but in terms of someone that had an impact on what how the business was operating correct it's just not many of us that make it correct to those ranks correct and as and as many people have pointed out if you don't have inclusive representation in terms of who's making decision making on the financial side on the creative side then it's also again it's amazing that we have as much creative content um from people of color as there is now considering the very small number of black creative and business professionals at the studios and networks. So again, when the two sides actually meet up, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a powerhouse. Yeah. We're going to kick everyone out of town. Just, just be us. <laughs> right, <laughs> no, right. That's a joke. We should drop a, we should, we should drop a ball without all of Well, again, we're going to the census, people of color in a couple of years. We, we about to outnumber everybody. <laughs> we know the on <laughs> fire. Well, the black and brown combined. Yes. We'll black be... and brown combined. Listen, <laughs> Any, if you're from a marginal community, you you know you're part of our community, right? You know what I'm saying. We all work together, so Correct. it's not a problem. And we still love white people too, so Correct. you know what I mean. We, we got to do business with somebody. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they got the good credit. Right. <laughs> Mr. Jay Christopher. We know